Again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And I'm uh, continuing to enjoy our summer weather, which finally arrived. It took a long time getting here to the Medhow Valley. I don't know about where you live. Um, so we are, this week, we've been going through the first Psalm, Psalm chapter 1, verse by verse, looking at what it says. And the Psalm is a contrast between people who are seeking after God and wanting to honor him with their life and those who are seeking after themselves and wanting nothing to do with God. The contrast between the godly and the wicked, as the psalmist writes. And today we're in the final verse, verse 6 of the first chapter, first psalm, psalm chapter 1. And it says, For the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Ultimately, that's what we're talking about in terms of a contrast. The contrast between those who are seeking after God, who God is then seeking after us and protecting and guiding and directing, overseeing, watching over our path, the way that we go, the, the direction he's guiding and helping us and honoring us and supporting us as we go along. Versus the person who wants nothing to do with God, they're on their own. They are on the path to destruction or as, uh, as ACDC saying, the highway to hell. <clears throat> and of course, that song, they're just making fun of the idea. And they're saying, yeah, I, I'm going there. All my friends are going to be there. And that kind of false knowledge of what really is waiting ahead. Destruction versus celebration, honoring, joy, fulfillment, peace. That's what God wants to offer to us. It's not a you're missing out on the, all the fun by following God. No, you are missing out on all of the fulfillment and peace and joy when we choose to reject God. I pray that if you are somewhere in that path and trying to figure out what am I going to do, which direction am I going to go, that you will say, you know what, I'm going to seek after God. I don't care what other Christians have done or whatever people have not lived up to this idea of really following God. That's just people who mess up and are oftentimes let their own human sinfulness cloud and give a bad reputation to Jesus. Seek after Jesus. That's the goal. Don't worry about other people. Don't seek after another person who's seeking after Jesus. Seek after Jesus yourself and find that he is faithful. As uh, the catchphrase of the television series The Chosen says, come and see. Check him out for yourself. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your love and we thank you that you are the one who desires a relationship with us and will honor our efforts as we seek after you, to know you more. Lord, I pray for anybody who doesn't know you, who are somewhere in that questioning, that they will try you out. Seeking after you, not seeking after someone else's interpretation, but seeking after you themselves. And for those of us who do know you, that we would look to encourage others, always pointing them to Jesus, not to ourselves because we don't live up to our even our own standards, but always pointing them towards the hope that we have in you and that they can as well. Let me ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Psalm 1 verse 6 says, For the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. I pray that uh, all of us would be on that path of righteousness, that path towards Christ, and uh, that we would help others to find it as well. God bless and have a great day.